every service provider in the world could have enough clients if each one were willing to focus on a particular type of person to serve. So for you as well, if you want to get enough clients, focus on a particular type of person to serve so that, interestingly, if you focus, you would have fewer competitors and more referral partners. Let me explain seven types of people you might serve, okay? So the first question to ask is, which gender do I best serve? Am I most qualified or uh, have I done the best, the best job serving? So do I serve mostly men or mostly women? Okay, so that if you find a particular majority, you might want to focus on that. Maybe it's enough equal that you don't focus on it. You go to the next one, which is what age range have I been most excellent at serving? So, you know, you probably don't serve teenagers as well as you do, you know, people in their 50s. Okay. You, maybe you don't even serve people in their 30s as well as people in their 40s or in their 50s or in their 60s. So particular age ranges have particular challenges in, in that life stage, okay? Challenges and, and ways of being, um, sort of circumstances, situations, okay? So that's a, the age range. Third one is life transitions. Maybe you ser you're really good at serving people going through a particular life transition. Maybe it's um, they are just getting married. Maybe they are going into a new job or coming out of a job. Maybe they are, maybe they're losing their parents. Okay, so particular life transitions. Think about that. Um, think about people in particular professions. So look at your ideal clients. Ha have they been in particular professions? Next one is people with particular passions. Maybe they're really, really interested in particular topics really passionate about certain topics, you can find out by following your ideal clients on social media, see what they kind of, things they kind of post about. Another one is people with a particular worldview. Maybe they have a particular spiritual belief or a particular political belief or a particular way of seeing the world that's unique, okay? Maybe you serve people in a, you know, most, most of us who are watching are probably coaches and, and consultants and healers, we serve people on a journey of transformation, but maybe we, we are particularly good at one stage of that journey of transformation. And if so, we can become so good at that stage that we become known for that particular stage. And we re when we find someone, a prospective client who wants help on another stage, we refer that person to someone else who's better at that stage. When someone finds that they're approached by someone who needs help in our stage, they refer people to us. Um, Another uh, one is you serve people at a particular price range. And of course, your price range may change over time, but maybe you serve people right now at this particular price range, which means that you can become referral partners with someone at a much higher price range or at a much lower price range, you see? So the more we are able to focus on any one or more of these things, the, the less competitors we have the more we, become, we can become known for that thing, the better we can become at focusing because the better our skills are when we focus on a particular type of person or a particular challenge. Does that make sense? So I dream of a world where all of us can have enough clients because we are willing to get so good at serving a particular type of person, to really love that type of person or that place in their journey. And so then we can all become referral partners for one another. Always welcome your comments and questions, and until the next video, I wish you well.